Hi artists! For this project you're going to need a piece of paper. I used a, a, the side of a paper bag that I got from the grocery store and I just cut the sides off and I even left the handle on just in case you want to hang it up somewhere. You're going to need something to write with and you're going to need some scissors and you're going to need to find three or four different t-shirts that have been folded nicely and you can ask your parents how to fold shirts and I'm sure they'd be happy to show you so that you can fold your own shirts and this is a way that you can try on your clothes without having to put them on because a lot of times my kids when they try something on and they don't like what they're wearing they just put it in a pile on the floor and then they have to pick it up later so this is going to help all right so to start with your self-portrait, you're gonna draw a U-shape close to the top of your piece of paper. Um, so this is your the, gonna be your face. And right away, I'm gonna draw some ears because that's gonna help me decide where to put my eyes and my nose and my mouth. And right now, we're just gonna leave the hair um, for the end. It's gonna look kind of funny for a little bit. So I'm gonna draw some ovals for eyes, some eyelashes, and some eyebrows. Those are some things that I forget to add sometime. But eyebrows are pretty important to your face. Then I'm gonna put the inside eyeballs on the inside of my eyes. And Um, then I'm gonna put my nose right in the center. I just draw just a really simple shape because noses can be tricky. So I just have this L shape. And then I'm gonna make my mouth. So I'm gonna start with an M for the top of my lip. That's called your Cupid's bow. And then here's the bottom part of my mouth. And then a line through there and this We'll kind of show if you can show if you're happy or sad or worried. So I'm gonna be, I'll put some earrings on because next time I go out, I'm gonna wear some earrings. All right, and then you're just gonna draw simple head of hair. And everyone has different textures of hair. Right now my hair is getting pretty long. So I haven't had a haircut in a while. So some people are gonna have braids, some people will have curly hair, some people have wavy hair, some people have messy hair, ponytails, really short, almost like crew cuts. All right, so there's my face with my eyebrows. And now I'm gonna draw just the neck here because we're just only drawing the head, the neck, and the shoulders for today. And then I'm just gonna put a little line here to show where my shirt is gonna start. And then I'm gonna fold this in half and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So this is where we're gonna be able to change the shirt. So I'm gonna fold my paper in half. The best you can and then you're gonna draw a line a shoulder line down so you're gonna go all the way down stop at the end this is where your scissors come in so you're gonna cut just this part out and then get those t-shirts ready so you can change your clothes without unfolding them. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I put something on and I just don't like how it looks, so I have to change. So I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna start with my one of my favorite art shirts. And then I'm gonna put this on top and say, oh, okay, am I feeling Frida today? Oh, I don't know, but I'm gonna leave it, put it over to the side, keep it folded up. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit of feeling basketball today. I've been missing my trailblazers. 
Okay, let's try one more, and then I'll make my final decision. This is just a little tank top that I have for summertime. Hmm, nope, it's not, not quite feeling summer. So I'm gonna go back to my blazer shirt, because hopefully basketball will come back someday. Now I'm ready to go out of the house, and I still have my clothes nicely folded. All right, artists, enjoy your day.